Happy New Year's everyone. It's January 6, 2020, this beautiful Monday. Hope everybody is having a good day. And I appreciate you coming by. What you're looking at right now is a new worm bed. I've gone ahead and added the shredded brown bags, the cocoa core with perlite, filtered water, Actually, it's rainwater because we've had a lot of rain. And um, the first thing I did was let the shredded paper bag get soaked up in the water for about a day. Then I went ahead with the extra water that was floating around, added the cocoa core with the perlite. Now, because I have a harvest ready um, to let the worms get into this new bedding, um, I thought maybe you'd want to come along and see how I do this. The last video I made, August 21st, 2019, I've since then had a harvest and started a new worm bin. Well, it's that worm bin that now needs to be harvested. So if you stay around, I'll go ahead and switch out this new uh, worm bedding container and show you what the uh, worms are sitting in right now. They're sitting in a very moist casting. But uh, stay with me and I'll share that with you. Before I go ahead and show you my worms, I just wanted to share with you um, another harvesting that is being cured at this moment. It needs to be um, dried out just a little bit more. And once it reaches the moisture level that I'm looking for, then it'll actually have an end result like this. And what's cool about this is it keeps its shape. It breaks easily when you squeeze it. So let me go ahead and get the worms and then we'll go ahead and start the harvesting process. So here's my container of worms ready to be um, removed and put into the new worm bedding and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer them into this clear container below so you can get a better view of them and um, you will go ahead and look at the worms and we'll go ahead and look at the harvesting. I've gone ahead, so I've gone ahead and transferred the uh, worms into this plastic clear shallow container and this is where they'll call home for another week as I start to pull them out and uh, add them to the new worm bed. I know everybody that uh, is a worm farmer has their own way of doing things. This is how I do mine. I keep, I keep it moist so uh, they're always comfortable. And uh, when they're fed, they're fed into the new word bed, not into this uh, casting. This casting, if needed, I will go ahead and add water um, to help break these down even more so while the worms are still in it. But it'll take me a week to remove them all. And in that time, I'll also be re removing the cocoons. As the, um, I noticed that as the uh, castings start to dry out, then more cocoons are more visible. Um, and as far as this paper towel, it breaks down really easy because this is what I use to clean the inside of the container. And then, uh, so it has the worm residue on it and then I just keep breaking it down until there isn't any more. But that will be added into the new a worm bed. And as I just mentioned in early uh, um, videos, that whatever uh, paper, uh, shredded paper bag did not get broken down, I'll just add it into the new worm bedding, like these right here. Okay, well, until we see each other on another video, I appreciate you coming by. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, I did get a, a comment on what I feed my worms 
and I do have a video showing what I feed my worms. Oh, it's organic, and uh, hopefully through the year uh, you'll see more of how I feed my worms and what I feed my worms um, as you follow along. Until then, have yourself a wonderful day. Be blessed. Organic Worm Casting by Soto signing off for now.